Greetings everyone. My name is Gosmerdin Sayed and I am leading this project. So let's begin with the solutions we have proposed. We have categorized our solutions in two different categories. The first is that by using the reflectance property of water and second is by using the surface tension property of water. The first solution we have proposed is that by to determine the quality of water by using the reflectance color of water, we have used the incident radiation which is emerging from the sun strikes the water surface and creates a specular reflection back to the satellite containing light sensors. The li satellite interprets the backscattered light in the form of visible spectrum. By using this, we have created a prototype which determines the quality of water from Google Earth images. All you need to do is to note down the longitude and latitude of a particular water body in the form of a polygon and insert these values and run the program. The selected area will be calculated on the basis of the impurities present on the surface. The parameters we had taken in consideration are remote sensing reflectance, turbidity, absorption coefficient and backscattering coefficient. The technology we are going to use in our application is that we are going to use the Google Earth Engine Code Editor cal to calibrate the water bodies which are connected to the Google Earth application. Uh, for the surface tension, we are going to use the mobile phone camera which has an inbuilt light sensor present in it and we are going to use the mobile vibration to know the turbidity and surface tension of water by monitoring the capillary waves formed due to the artificial vibration of the phone. These are some of the key features which we will be including in the application. Using Google Earth images, we can find the color of water bodies in which the concept of reflection is used. We only have to select the longitude and latitude of the desired water body in the shape of polygon and then run the Google Earth Engine code editor to get the desired results. We can use Google Earth images to know the quality of different water resources which are coming to our local location. We can also check shrinkage and of different water bodies due to increasing global warming and evaporation rate and we can compare old and present data related to that and think of required solutions. We can also use it to find the turbidity of water by using the basic concepts of Tyndall effect for knowing the turbidity we are going to pass any light source through a water sample and check intensity of the particular resultant light by using mobile. We because as we know scattered light has low intensity as compared to reflected light. We can also find the surface tension by monitoring the vibrations of the water which are created by mobile. The vibrations are in a ring shape. The vibration generates capillary waves on the liquid surface that is small waves whose wavelength characterize the liquid surface tension. The parameters we have taken in consideration are remote sensing reflectance, turbidity, absorption coefficient and backscattering coefficient. We have taken reference from various research papers as we have concluded our, our ideas to determine the calibration of water with the help of optics. We can also know different application and answer the usage of any water sample after knowing the different parameters. Digitally stitches together billions of images taken by satellite and aerial photography using the highest quality pixels from each photograph to create the clearest view of any portion of the earth. Water provides a semi-transparent medium for the electromagnetic radiation thus the electromagnetic radiation gets reflected, transmitted or absorbed in water. The spectral properties of water vary with different wavelengths and incident radiation not only due to the molecular structure but also due to impurities present in the water body.